Well, a good evening, everyone, and welcome to Frontier Regional High School here on the FCAT for our football contest on senior night as the Frontier Redskins, or the Frontier Red Hawks, that is, take on the folks from the High School of Commerce. This is a very important game here today for Frontier, and I must tell you that our seniors will be honored. We do have six seniors that will be honored here for Frontier on senior night. That includes Sean Kirkendall, also Ethan Bryant, Endai Lewis, as well as Aiden West, Matt Stiles, and Jesse Dubriel. Frontier coming into tonight's game with a 3-2 and two record. A win today will bring them to 4-2, and two, which is very important because these are the games that they need to win as they start getting ready to do the pairings for the upcoming Western Mass Tournament. Of course, I want to let folks know that right now in their division, in Division 5, Frontier is sitting right now at number 24. They're at number 24 in the state of Massachusetts, which is very good. And that looks really nice, and it'll get even better if they can pick up the victory here today. The upcoming games for them include Belchertown and East Hampton. The one thing that has been lacking for this team right now is offense as they're only averaging 10 points a game over their five games that they have played. So right now in five games, they're averaging 49 points as the total or 10 points per game. Now on the other side, our folks from Commerce, well, they're coming in with a record of one and three. And they're averaging on their offense 17 points a game. They do have a couple of gentlemen that are the two stop stars that they rely on. One is their quarterback. He's only a sophomore in Chase Johnson. And their tailback, Julio Ramos. They also have another running back who's also in the backfield as well. His name is Nate Chacon. So they're coming in right now at a record of one and three. They're looking to be able to get their second win of the year. But Frontier, they're in a very good position right now where if they can pull off the victory here tonight, that'll bring their record up to four and two, which is very important. But we're very excited to be able to be here on senior night as we start getting ready to be able to honor those six seniors here this evening. And then again, we got football for you right here on the FCAT. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more here from Frontier Regional High School, Frontier and the High School of Commerce on the FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television. Okay, we're going to announce our Frontier football seniors. First senior tonight is Ethan Bryant, accompanied with his parents, Kelly and Jeremy. <laughs> Next senior is Jesse Gabriel, accompanied with his parents, Julie and Todd. Next, we have Sean Kirkendall with his parents, Diane and Chris. Next is India Lewis with mother Tunisia and Eddie. Next, we have Matt Stiles with his parents, Jen and Jeff. And next is number 61, Aiden West, with his parents, Maggie and Matt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your Frontier Football Seniors. Good luck, seniors. Just to recap, we want to let you know that Frontier sitting at three and two. Our folks here from the High School of Commerce out of Springfield are one and three. The offense is averaging 10 points a game for Frontier so far this season where the High School of Commerce is averaging 17 points on offense. So very important, like I said, game here tonight 
as we get ready for some football. We'll take a break. We'll come back, and we will be able to get things started in just a few minutes here on the FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television. Now we will recognize the Frontier Pep Band seniors on here on Senior Night. Our first senior is Eric Brown, trumpet player, with his parents Beth and Eric Brown. Now we have Gabe Dexter, a clarinet and percussionist, with his parents Rory and Andrea Dexter and his brother Tegan. Next, we have Abigail Goff, a horn and percussionist, with Father David Goff. <laughs> Next, Coleman Hartner, electric bass and saxophone, parents Christopher and Danielle Hartner. Cheryl Moreau, clarinet, parents Steve and Penny Moreau. Katie Wells Robinson, baritone horn and percussionist, parents Rebecca and Sean. And Harrison Wright, clarinet and percussion, mother Kim Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, Frontier Pet Band Seniors, congratulations and good luck. And there you go. There's our Pet Band Seniors that also been announced as well as our Frontier football players. We're just a few minutes away from getting this football game underway here at Frontier Regional. We'll take a break and we'll be back with more in just a few minutes. Captains will now meet at midfield for the Red Raiders. Number 51, Jalen Milton. Number 55, Tykeese Alexander. All right, we're back here on Frontier Community Access Television for tonight's matchup between Frontier and the High School of Commerce. I'm Bobby C. And we are getting ready to be able to find out who's going to end up getting the ball first and who will be playing defense as the captains are meeting at midfield for the coin flip. We had a chance to honor our seniors, which was wonderful to be able to do with the boys. And also we had a chance to do the pep band as well. So congratulations to all of our seniors in their future endeavors. And we wish nothing but the best of luck on what they have planned in their future. A little bit on the chilly side here today, probably sitting around 52, 53 degrees right now here in South Deerfield. As our referees are talking with our captains and they'll get ready to do the flip. And it has been determined that our receiving team will be the High School of Commerce will be receiving the and the kickoff. defense, which has been very good for the Frontier Redhawks, will be taking the defensive side to kick off our game here tonight. So our boys from Frontier will be kicking off the ball first. And I'll tell you, we got to do our national anthem, so at this moment we will pause for the playing of our national anthem here at Frontier Regional. This time we would like everyone to please rise as the Frontier Regional Band honors America by playing our national anthem.
All right, we're ready for some high school football here on the FCAT, Frontier Community Access Television, as Frontier will be kicking off to the High School of Commerce to kick off our game here today. High School of Commerce sitting at one and three on the season. We got Frontier, they are sitting right now at three and two. Very important game here today for Frontier as they are ranked number 24 in their division here in the state of Massachusetts as they do have their state standings that come out. They have to get all the submissions in by Thursday afternoon and then they do release the new standings on Fridays. So we just gave you a fresh update of exactly what is happening with Frontier football. And like I said, very important game here today. Jesse Dubriel will, will be kicking off. He's got a great leg. Former soccer player from Mohawk came here to be able to share his senior year here at Frontier Regional. And this kid's got a leg. All right, little squib. And it's down. And there you go. It looks like that the High School of Commerce is going to be starting off. It'll be first down and 10 from the 35 yard line. 35 yard line. So the defensive frontier has been very solid throughout the year here. They have really been able to win their games pretty much based on the defense as their offense has only been able to average 10 points a game this season. And, oh, and a really bad snap right there by the High School of Commerce. And that's going to bring them back four yards. So now you're looking at second down and 14 here for the High School of Commerce. So that's a big help right there on the defense here for Frontier, being able to have the opportunity to be able to bring them back four yards just on a bad snap that was made by them. Now it's time for the defense to be able to dig in. Oh, nice job right there. Nowhere to go. And another loss on the play. Frontier looking really good. And all of a sudden, the High School of Commerce, they can't even get the ball out of the hands of their quarterback yet here today. That's going to bring them back even more. So now they're sitting at about third and 18. 18 for Commerce. They're going to have to get that snap up. The center's having a hard time being able to snap it. That was a good snap right there. Johnson has the ball. He's running. He has a good, good speed, and he has also a good arm as well. So Johnson picked up a bunch Brand there. On a stop for the Red Hawks. And right now, that's going to bring up the big fourth, fourth and down and eight. Fourth and eight. And I'll tell you right now, if they're smart, they're going to punt that ball. They don't want to take a chance right here with this defense. Otherwise, they're going to put themselves in a hole. I don't see anybody going back to punt. Interesting call right here by the High School of Commerce. They are going to try to go for it here on fourth down and eight. I don't know if this is going to work out. It could. Oh, he might have had it. He might have got that first down. And I think he did. Wow, nice run right there by Johnson to be able to pick up that first down. All of a sudden, it's first down and 10 for the high school of Commerce. On just two runs by their quarterback, he was able to make all 18 yards. On those two downs, brings up a first down and 10 for the High School of Commerce. Oh, and a, a, a snap up, the quarterback just went down. There you go, another loss of five. At the Commerce 40 yard line. That'll bring up a second down and about 14 here for the High School of Commerce. Second down, second and 14 for Commerce. And a snap, goes to the quarter, a handoff right there and a beautiful run. 
excellent job right there by the High School of Commerce to be able to pick up that first down. Carry into Red Hawk territory for another Commerce first down. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, got some big speed with these guys. They can run. One thing that we're going to notice in our game here today is that the High School of Commerce, not only do they have some speed, but they also have some big beef up front as well. They got some big linemen. Another first down here for the High School of Commerce. And another handoff. Bob Frontier got that one. Morales on the carry. Morales didn't get much on that. Aiden West on the stop for the Red Hawks. Maybe a gain of one or two. That's about it. And honestly, they're going to give it a no game. So it's uh, second down and 10, no game, second and 10 for the High School of Commerce as they have slid into Red Hawk territory at the 44-yard line. Oh, a little tie-up right there. Got to the outside. There's nobody there. Oh, nice tackle. Well, they're saying that he wasn't down, that he was laying on the player. And with him laying on the player, they called it a touchdown. Because he literally did not touch the ground. He literally was on top of the body. And when he slid up on the body, he was able to keep himself rolled over. And he got himself up and ran for a touchdown. High School of Commerce, they strike first. Josiah Morales. Beautiful run right there by Morales and a nice job being able to literally Morales use his head and be able to know that he wasn't down and the ref agreed and gave him the touchdown. Two-point conversion, they're going for it and they got it. Chase Johnson in for the two-point conversion, 8.09 remaining here in the first so, quarter. So, 8.09 left here in the, the Raiders, first quarter. The Frontier Red Hawks nothing. And the High School of Commerce has struck first off of literally a 43-yard touchdown run. And they were able to get the two-point conversion. And they're up 8-0. You're listening to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Bobby C. We're live here on Senior Night. It's the Frontier Red Hawks taking on our folks here from the High School of Commerce. We will be joined here at the end of the quarter by Mason. Mason will be joining us at the end of this quarter. So we'll be having him join our broadcast. He got a little caught up in some traffic on the way in here today, so he's running a little bit late. But we'll hopefully be able to have him join our broadcast in just a little bit here at the end of the first quarter. Well, looks like the High School of Commerce is going to be kicking things off here. Fifty-five, Tykeesa Alexander to kick off for Commerce. Ray Arsenal, Ian Burke back for the Red Hawks. All right, we're just uh, waiting patiently to be able to get this ball was handed off. Got enough players out there now. And the kick is up. And they Got to whoop it out. What a kick. Oh, big tackle right there by the High School of Commerce. Well, the offense that's been struggling so far for Frontier is making their way out. First and 10, Frontier. It'll be first down and 10 for the Hawks. Looks like at about the about the eight-yard line. Red Hawk eight-yard line. The double wing has been very popular on the offense here for Frontier throughout the year in their five games. See if they continue using that throughout our game here today. Dredge does have a nice arm though. Oh, that's a nice pitch right there. They got a nice block. And Bray Arsenal gets himself a nice run right there. That picked up a few yards. 
Matter of fact, Elijah he got he got eight on that, so we got second down and eight. Uh, second down, down and two. So second and two for the Red Hawks. How did they give him a first down? All right, that's even better. He got a nice spot. First and ten from the eighteen yard line. So a nice spot right there by the referees to be able to give Arsenal a nice first run of ten yards. Up. Oh. Got a flag on a play. Got an approachment? What do we got here? Offside on Commerce, five yard yep. penalty. Got an approachment call. Approachment call right there. He helps out Frontier offense right there with that five yard penalty. So that'll bring up a first down and five for the Hawks. 720 left here in the first quarter. High School of Commerce struck first with 809 with a 43 yard run. And they made their two point conversion. They're up eight nothing. Oh, big tackle right there by, Ronaldo, by big number 44. Top. Yeah, he is a big boy, and he was able to get right in the face of Dredge on that one. Second down, second and four. So second down and four here for the Hawks. One of the problems that has been really tough for Frontier is that their offensive line has really struggled throughout the year being able to open up a lot of holes. That's why when they do their double wing, it usually helps because it's such a fast-paced play. And they'll run that again. And there it is, another outside. Can they get the first down? I think they might have got it. And I, we, we almost there? Oh, we, we are. Let's see where they place that. That is close. They said it's a first down. All right, there you go. Another nice job right there by Frontier to be able to pick up that first down. From the Frontier, 29 yard line. They'll continue on here. Looks like they got a couple of guys out on the right side. Run up the middle is Still good, he got about three, maybe three yards on the carry. Maybe even more, let's give him five. Sean Kirkendall on the carry. So Sean picks up five yards on that one. And he literally had three guys all five, over him as he five. was able to get himself five yards. Second down and five here for the Hawks. And, yeah, maybe a couple on this one. We'll give them, we'll give them two, two and a half maybe. If you got to round it off, I guess we would say that it's going to be timeout by Commerce. third down and two. And while we have this timeout, we want to say that we want to thank our crew that's here today. We got Luke. We also got the Bosch man with us and Tyler. Also at the end of the quarter here, we will be joined by Mason, who will be joining us in the broadcast booth as well. Just trying to work out on a couple of roster guys here. Josiah Morales, who by the way is only a ninth grader, he ended up scoring their touchdown on a 43 yard run for the High School of Commerce. And then the two point conversion was made by their quarterback. Who, by the way, very talented guy too. And I tell you, he's very good. His name is Chase Johnson. And by the way, Chase, he is only a sophomore. 3rd in the yard for the Hawks. And there you go. That's a nice job right there. Good job by the line. They open up a nice hole right there. And the Hawks are moving the ball very well right now. Here with 4.45. And oh, we got a flag called on the side of the field by the field judge. 
Unsportsmanlike conduct against Commerce. That's another 15 added. That's going to make it into. And now the Hawks are in the territory of the High School of Commerce. They wrote down the personal on a piece of paper to be able to let them know that a couple of those and you get tossed out. There you have it. So now Frontier will have the ball first down and 10 from the 37. And that is the 37 is of Commerce. Frontier from the Commerce 37 yard line. And back to pass. That's a good look right there. Nice job. Dredge had time. He was able to get it right to Caden James. Nice quick pass. Worked out well. Quick five right there for the Hawks. That'll bring up a second down. Maybe even six because they're moving it more and more. So we'll give that a nice spot as well. So second down and four for the Hawks. Nice little mix up of plays that have worked out very well here. Coach Dredge has done a nice job mixing it up. That was a beautiful pass that was right in the hands of James from his son Aiden. And as Frontier continues to move the ball, they do run the double wing. And it looks like an offsides, and it looks like encroachment. That's going to make it a first down. So a nice opportunity here for the Hawks to be able to get back in this one. They're moving the ball very well. And we're at 327 left here in the first, first quarter. From the Commerce 25 yard line. And they're going to run that double wing again. And into Ian Burt. Ian Burt on the carry. And it looks like Ian got himself a few yards on that play. Brian Morales on the stop. We'll call it second down at seven. Maybe, yeah, seven. We'll go seven, maybe six. Eight of three, second and seven. Want to welcome you here to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Bobby C. Glad you made it here tonight. Also, very exciting night tonight, senior night, as we're able to honor our seniors. We'll talk about them coming up during our halftime show. Frontier with the double wing, moving the ball very well. Wide open, touchdown Ian pass! Burke. To Ian Burke, Ian Burke. Oh, beautiful, beautiful play right there. Aiden Dredge to Ian Burt. And I imagine with that two point conversion that they're, they're probably going to go for two. See if they can tie this one up. Nice job moving the ball. That was a great offensive possession by Frontier. And a little rollout. Does it make it in? John Kirkendall. Haven't seen any. Haven't seen. No good. No good. 225 remaining here in the first quarter. The Commerce Red Raiders. Eight. The Frontier Red Hawks. Six. All right. So here's where we stand. Two minutes and 25 seconds left here in the first quarter. The High School of Commerce ended up striking first. Went up 8-0. Beautiful drive that started at the 8-yard line. They went 92 yards total on their offense, and they were able to score. It was a beautiful pass from Aiden Dredge to a wide-open Ian Burt. That made it 8-6. Two-point conversion did fail. So we stand here at 8-6 with 2.25 left here in the first quarter. And Dubriel ready to kick it off. He's been kicking the ball well this year. That was a little bit on the shaky side there, and that's going to go out of bounds. Our was touched, though, by the Commerce player, so there won't be any penalty on that. But they will have the ball. 
It'll be first down and 10 for the high school of commerce. And that'll be at the, let's see where the refs are going to put this ball. They're going to put the ball at the first and 10 commerce from the commerce 30, 34 yard, yard line. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We're almost ready to wind down this first quarter here. Defense got to come up big. Didn't work out the last time as both offenses have been able to score on their first possessions. Ah, didn't look like much there. Nice job by the defense. And a flag on the far side of the field. Holding on Commerce. Oh, well, that's going to be a big penalty right there. That's 10 yards right there. That's a big penalty. You know, Commerce has really shot themselves in the foot with a lot of penalties early here today. But they were able to get through a couple of those in that first possession where they had their big runs that gave them the opportunity to be able to pick up that touchdown. And they picked up two really big runs that when they were down deep, it was first down and 16, and they were able to get eight yards on both and get a first down and then that 43-yard run. So let's see what they can do here on. Oh, beautiful play. That's how you get it done. On the tackle. Frontier, the defense pouring it on, and boy, they're going the wrong way here, the high school of commerce. Big loss on the play. We'll call this baby right now. We'll call this second down in about about a state. All right? We'll call it second down in a second state. And 28. Uh, or we could just call it from uh, South Deerfield to the Connecticut border. How's that? Here we go. Wide open. There's a defense. And there it is again. Another great defensive play by the Hawks. They're starting to read it. They're reading it now. And they are going the wrong way. Another eight-yard loss. On the Great job. Big Ed getting it done. Tell you right now, the defense is really starting to read these plays right now. Third down and a trip to Virginia. Here we go. Oh, there's a run. They gotta, they gotta stop that, and they did. All right, they're gonna get the ball back, and I'll tell you right now, they're gonna get good field position here. This is a chance for some really good field position here for the Hawks by that couple of penalties and the great defense on the last couple of plays. That was an excellent job right there by the Red Hawks, and I'll tell you, all those opportunities of scoring those touchdown, the touchdown run of 43 yards and the runs that they've had, Boy, they've really turned a lot of their offense on the wrong way in that possession for sure. And if Bray can be able to get himself some block in here, it could be really good field position. He up, yeah, he calls for the fair catch. Good call. No, he already called for it. Already hit the ground. All right, so well, here's what we got. They're in. Commerce territory. And at the end of the first quarter, it's senior night here at Frontier Regional High School. The High School of Commerce, eight, and the Frontier Red Hawks, six. I'll be joined by Mason coming up here in the second quarter here on the FCAT. We'll take a break. All right, we're back here at Frontier Regional High School. We got Mason Smith. Got caught in some traffic on the way in here, but uh, we've got them all here for the rest of the next three quarters. Want to welcome you to our broadcast here tonight, Mason. It's good to be here, Bobby. Uh, I was able to see the end of the first quarter, and it looks like Frontier's defense is coming out pretty strong tonight. They sure are. And right now, the offense did a great job on their last possession to be able to score, and hopefully they can do that again. Yep. And a nice handoff right there. Good job right there by Bray Arsenal. Nice, nice carry there for the Hawks. Tackles. And that's going to put him in a good position right now. And that's going to bring up a third down and three for the Hawks here. Inside of the Commerce territory here at the 39-yard line. 
see what they're going to do, whether they're going to try to throw the ball here or if they're going to, looks like they might. They're, they got guys out on the wideouts here. Yeah, they got Arson out on the far side of the field. Dredge just brought another lineman up to do some blocking at the end there. Let's see if he ends up being able to get a quick three or four yard pass. Oh, he gets it over to Ian Burt. He's quick. He got the end. He's got the first down and more. Ian Burt on the carry. Slips through a tackle there. Oh, and there's a flag. Oh, we do have a flag on the play, though. Right after the whistle blew. I think I saw a helmet fall off. I think that was Burt's. Yeah. He does not have a helmet on. Let's see if we have another personal foul here. And we, we got another personal foul against the High School of Commerce. Yeah. Boy, they're really digging themselves holes with penalties here tonight. I mean, that was and a nasty That's going to bring penalty. up a first down. And, uh, boy, what a big opportunity here for the Hawks. <sighs> Chance to be able to strike again with another opportunity at scoring. I mean, we're only in the second quarter here, Bobby, but they're – Frontier is breaking all of the trends that I've seen so far this season. They've, a lot of the time it's been, you know, they get down into the red zone and then they just, you know, can't get a first down when they really need it. That's but. true. They've, they've only averaged 10 points a game. You're right. Oh, oh what nice a play! There. That was an awesome move oh, by Oh, my Frey goodness. Arsenal. And he scores! Frey Arsenal did a nice job. He put the ball up in the air thinking they were going to pitch it back. Right out of Dredge's What a job, right, Frey Arsenal. So that'll put Frontier up on the scoreboard. Nice 17-yard run right there by Bray. And they'll go for two points here. Of course, that'll be good if they can pick up the two here. That'll get them to 14. And they nice got the two-point conversion. The two Ian Burt, they can't stop him with his speed. There you Great go, Mason. You pop in the booth, and there you go. All right. <laughs> I tell you what, Frontier is coming out here, senior night. They've got something special going. Yep. And better yet, the crowd's loving it. Oh, the crowd's into it. And I'll tell you right now, they, what they need to understand is, is that in this game right now, this game is one of the important ones here for Frontier because oh, yeah. at the end of the month of October, they start making the seedings for the state tournament and also their Western Mass Tournament. Ah. They start giving people an idea of where they're at. Well, I'll tell you right now, you want to be one of the top eight teams to be able to play in the Western Mass Tournament. And if they can pick up the win here today, that'll bring them to four and two. So it's a very important game here for Frontier. Oh, and the yeah. kickoff is off. Oh, that's a good kick. And he's still oh, having trouble goodness. with it. And he might get the fumble. And Frontier picks up the oh ball. My God. They recover. Colin West for Frontier falls on the ball. And boy, they got amazing field position right here. They can really open this game up right now. Senior night here at Frontier. The fans are feeling it. What? That is some great awareness there by Colin West. So there you go. You got first down and 10 at the 15 yard line. You just scored 14 unanswered points and they could be able to pour it on a little bit more. This is a huge opportunity and they don't want this to squander for sure with first down and 10 at the 15 of Commerce. Yeah, you don't want to blow a shot like this. And a little rollout by Tredge. He sees an open receiver and he's got him. James makes a move. Excellent job. Caden James. James has done a nice job being able to get those nice short ones. Close to a first down, it'll be second and one. Second down and one, here's where you run that double wing right here, pick up the first down and then you can take it from there. This could be a good time to run that double wing because it's such a very fast, it's a very fast play. Yeah, it's very interesting. They've been running it a lot. In some games, yep. it works so well for them, and in other games, yeah, it well, just doesn't. Yeah, well, they're going to run that wing again. Why not? Yeah. 
Yeah, you need is one. Oh, oh he dropped he the ball. The, oh, he didn't have handle the ball. And that's too bad because that was a loss on the play right there. Ah, that's some tough luck there. Looked like a low snap maybe. Yep. And Dredge wasn't able to hold on to it. Four yards. Second and goal. So you got second down and goal here now. Back on the 15. They've got, Frontier's got Eddie Michkowski on the near side of the field. Arsenal set up to maybe get the ball. And they had trouble again getting it off. Uh, maybe the chicken wing, uh, as I like to call it, the old wing winger is not working. Yeah. Sometimes we like to call that the no dinger winger. That's what we call it. But hey, you know, that one was a tough one right there. Yeah, it looked like Dredge tried to hand it off and it just wasn't there. Yeah, but I'll tell you right now, they've been doing a nice job throwing the ball. Oh, now yeah, you get an opportunity sure. to be able to get Dredge. You got to give him some time. The line's got to give him some time to find an open receiver. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, they've you had problems with the offensive line giving him time this year. Yeah, exactly. And that's why the offense is, hasn't been able to be that explosive. Matter of fact, they've yeah. already scored over what they average already here in the second quarter for the year. Oh, yeah. So let's yeah, see if they can got... get that block and they need. All right, he's rolling out. He's got time. He has a receiver. Stays in bounds. Oh, oh nice job goodness. right there by James. Way to pop that one in. Nice little tightrope back there. And we have fourth down and two. Fourth and goal from the two. Fourth and goal for the Red Hawks. This is so, it. I'd, I'd run it again. Four yard line. Run it again. Or is Coach Dredge going to go for a field goal? Because they've, they've got Jesse Dubriel, who's been a pretty reliable kicker most of the season. Yeah, I don't think they're going to kick it, though. I don't think so. I know that he's been able to you know, come over from P Mohawk and be able to have that leg. But maybe, maybe they'll go with a, another pass because the pass has worked. It has. Matter yeah, fact, they've, they've got, got receivers. Dredge going all the way up to the line, but... You got Arsenal in the back. He's the only one back. And there's a penalty, and that's going to be against Commerce with encroachment. Looks Second like it. Play. They get encroachment. That's going to get you halfway closer. Oh, they called it against Red? Okay. Well, that was oh, a shot geez. in the foot right there. Not what they wanted. Now you got to throw. Now you're going to have to throw. Yeah. So Aiden Dredge getting the assignment from his father on the sidelines, and it's working. I'll tell you right now, the D-backs the the for the High School of Commerce, they can't keep up with the speed of the guys from Frontier. Yeah, you said it, Bobby. They've got – Frontier's got receivers on either side, Burt and James. The cross pattern. Nice no. Oh. No good. Well, the defense is going to have to step up here. They got him in the hole here. 7.30 left here in the first half. Honestly, that penalty really hurt Frontier. Yeah, I think overall in this game so far, both teams have a great offense. They've just, the penalties have been killing them. Yeah, that penalty hurt right there, and that ball was in the hands of the receiver, but he wasn't able to hold on, and then yeah. the Commerce player ended up hitting him when the ball was let free from his body and mm -hmm. now they take over on down so it'll be first down and 10 for the high school of commerce here on senior night here at frontier regional 7 30 left to play commerce has got to be careful first though. half <laughs> go <laughs> oh, that's a good defensive job right there nice stop by frontier Tell you right now, Frontier's defense is really starting to step it up here. Oh, They've yeah. been good all year long. They've done it all season long. Their defense is what's given them a couple of wins, believe it or not. Oh, definitely. And, you know, Commerce has got to be careful here. There's a uh, couple games ago, Frontier, the first score that they had in the game was a safety. That's right. You know? That was the game against Palmer earlier in the year. Yeah, it was. Yep. I was doing that game. Matter of fact, I, I know that one well. All right, here we go. 
High snap. Nothing there. Oh, Another nice defensive the play right there by the Hawks. Josiah Morales on the carry. Sean Kirkendall on the stop. Tell you right now, no gain, 39. Commerce is trying to run the same three plays, and it's not working yeah, out very well. Not. Coach Dredge has got his kids believing that this is exactly what they're running right now. If you can be able to stand your ground, and these three guys are the ones that are getting the ball, yeah. that's what's going to help, and it's working right now. They literally have a three-man offense for the high school of Commerce, and that's it. And you saw it at the end of the first quarter. They were just reading the plays like an open book. And another nice job right there. Josiah Morales on the carry. That's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth down for Commerce. Fourth and six. Yeah, they got a punt. They're going to have to punt oh, yeah. the ball for the first time here tonight. You can't take a chance. There's no question no, about no, it. No, no, no. That's why Arsenal is going back. You can't take a chance. Josiah yeah. Morales drops back to punt for Commerce. This hey, Arsenal. And we got a timeout. timeout All right. And we'll take it, Mason. Here we go. We'll take it. Five minutes and 46 seconds left here in the first half. Frontier, 14 unanswered points are leading the High School of Commerce 14 to 8. You're listening and you're tuning in right here at Frontier Regional High School to the FCAT. Frontier Community Access Television for our high school football game on senior night. We'll be back with more after this. And we are back here at Frontier Regional High School for a fourth down play. And they That's are going for point. it. And they caught Frontier off guard, and they might have oh got that first God. down, and they did. Oh, what Coach Dredge is not going to be happy on that, knowing that he had an opportunity to put his team in a great position to score and gave the high school of commerce that first down how often do you see a fake punt in a high wow. school football game Bobby? unbelievable and i'll tell you that really hurt right there after all the great defense that this team's made that right there that stung jeez so first down and 10 here for the high school of commerce and 10 from the commerce 22 yard line yeah they were literally they, they were literally at the 14 yard line and they ended up going for it. that's crazy Johnson's throwing it, goes Long deep, pass. has a man up top, 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 and it's over his head. Boy, Johnson's got a nice arm. Oh, yeah. That was a beautiful throw. Just his man stopped. He literally stopped to be able to come back thinking that the ball was going to be short. Instead, yeah. that ball was long. <laughs> that is a very impressive throw there. Well, the High School of Commerce, I'll tell you right now, they're hanging by a string on certain things that they've done in this game here today, but their biggest problem <laughs> has been penalties. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Handoff there. And that's a good handoff right there. Oh, and he's going he for the house. Through. Wow, he is tough to get oh, down. Oh, my God. What a what run. What a run. Morales has done an awesome job being able to run the ball here. <laughs> And we got a timeout, Frontier. Frontier Coach Dredge is not happy with what he's seeing right now. All right, let's, uh, let's assess this last couple of plays here. Okay, Mason, here's what happened. We had the ball where it was fourth down, and instead of the high school of commerce punting the ball, they went and they did a fake. They were able to pick up that first down. Yeah. And then they went for a bomb where the runner, literally the receiver, sort of stopped. Otherwise, that might have been an in-stride opportunity for an easy catch. Yeah, I mean, and you think about but, it. If he had caught yeah. it, he was, like, right past midfield. And then we had this run here. They would have been, like, halfway to the touchdown, the end yep. zone right and now. now and now you got this beautiful run by Morales, who's done an excellent job in the backfield. But yeah. this time, Frontier did not sniff him out. He also took his body and the power of the strength of his body and his legs to be able to gain an extra 15 yards that he got just by going through other guys from Frontier. Yeah. And now they're sitting in Frontier territory. It is first down and 10 for the High School of Commerce. And that is at the Frontier 45 yard line. So they have really been pretty lucky to be able to get where they are. And let's see if they can continue moving the ball. Frontier is going to have to step it up. And I think that what Coach Dredge was saying to his players, stay in your lane. That's all he's saying. <laughs> stay in your lane. Yeah. And that could be an off, uh, offsides. 
It is a false start. So they yep. now they just shot themselves in the yeah, foot there's with a the penalties five again. Penalty. Their their penalties have really hurt their team. Yeah, I mean the the team that's been in charge of this game has just gone back and forth like a pendulum and the thing that's controlling that is the penalties because they've they've had a great drive so far and if yep. they get another penalty like that or a couple penalties that just set them back they aren't going to be able to get a first down frontier's going to get the ball at around midfield and they can have a great drive that's true all right morales. morales using his leg strength that boy that boy Look has at him got go. some great Stop legs but yeah but Maybe it was a first, first down, first down. Morales running the ball very well for his team here tonight. First and 10 from the Red Hawk, 38. So Morales you know, the one thing we haven't talked about is we should tell you that the size difference between the Frontier defensive line and the offensive line of the High School of Commerce is literally night and day. <laughs> yeah. The High School of Commerce has got some big boys. Oh, yeah, you can see it from here. Nice little fake handoff there. Good move. Tell you right now, that was a good job on a gang tackle right there by a couple of the Red Hawks. Not much yeah, there. Brian, Maybe two. On a on a tackle. Maybe three. We'll call it a second down and seven. Yeah. That was a couple good moves right up the middle by Johnson, though. Yep. Tell you right now, Johnson also has a good arm, too. He's only oh, a yeah. sophomore. Morales is only that a was freshman. That, that kid's got some good legs for a freshman. Oh, that ball's on the ground. Oh, and he oh, picked he up the ball. He might have the hole. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. An opportunity to pick up the ball. And now, by not being able to stay in their lane, they were able to pick up the ball. And there you have it, another first down for the High School of Commerce. So they're in the red zone. You know, I'll tell you what. I could probably tell you what Coach Dredge is screaming at his players right now. Learn how to tackle. Because did you see that play over there? Yeah. They, were, they yeah. just let him hit him, and then he pushed them forward about three or four yards. Yeah, after and they also these guys got to continue to stay in their lane because look at how mm -hmm. big that hole was. Yeah. That was a big that, hole. He dropped the snap. He and did. And he just went straight through like it was planned. All right, first out of 10. That's a bad snap, but oh, Johnson was able to get it. He's running up the middle. He's Again. got some room. Oh, There's nice a good run. Hit. Aiden Dredge on a stop. Quarterback Boy, to quarterback hit. that is hit. just about almost a first down. That's going to bring up a second in. Yep, less than a yard. Boy, think about this. They literally have an opportunity to be able to have five plays to be able to score just that many yards, six yards. Another high snap. Johnson's going to run it again. Johnson gets the first down. Is he in? He's in. There it is. And there you have it. Chad, Chase Johnson gets in. Six yard run. How many plays in a row did he run that after a high snap? He ran, he ran four. <laughs> Three, four in a row. Is and the two point trouble. conversion is good. Commerce is coming back now. Scores tied, folks. 14 to 14. But we were just talking earlier in this quarter, this very quarter, that Frontier's offensive line was having some problems. Now it's looking like the defensive line is the one with the issues. Well, you know what the biggest problem is? You got the big beef up front. That's and when true. you get the big beef up front and they can be able to stand and be able to, you know, push tired players, mm -hmm. it makes it a lot easier. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you right now, the one thing that you don't want to happen is have the defense get worn down by the offensive line of the Commerce because that could hurt. Yeah. Here we go. Two minutes, 23 seconds left here in the first half here at Frontier Regional High School. I'm Bobby C. here with Mason Smith. And the High School of Commerce picks up their six-yard run from the quarterback, 55. Chase Johnson, and a two-point conversion by Josiah Morales. And there you have it. Right now, it is 14 for Frontier, 16 for the High School of Commerce. There's still a little bit of time left for Frontier to be able to score. Hopefully, they'll be able to get a good run back right here. What a kick. Beautiful boom. Oh, my goodness. Right in the hands. Bray Arsenal Fumbles the handoff. That's too bad. Oh, my God. 
Ian Burt with his speed, that should have worked out, and that is so sad that he dropped wow. that ball. Another missed opportunity by the Hawks. Wow. But they will have the ball. From the Frontier 20 yard line. Well, the Frontier's got a long way to go in just over two minutes in That's this half. crazy. Boy, I'll tell you, that hole, the whole left side of the field coming our way was wide open. Just wide open. I mean. And he missed the ball. Ah. Well, let's see what Coach Dredge has up his sleeve here. I, I think going long right now would not be a bad idea at all. It would not at down. all. No, see, they got yeah. some receivers. Yeah, this is a good time to do it. And boy, there's nobody back. Yeah, they're all on the line. You, all you got to do is just burn one of those guys up front. You got them. Yeah, there, there you go. go. There's, there's the one pass. right there. There's a pass. Pass complete. Nice short pass the there to Arsenal. Yeah. Well, he picked up, picked up about three. We'll call it second down at seven. Clock is still running. We're under two minutes here. Still got plenty of timeouts. Still got four more timeouts here left for. I think got two timeouts left for Frontier here in the first half. Gonna try to throw again. There Gets you go. James. There's James. First James. down and more. Good job right there by Caden. Nice pass. That was a beautiful pass by Dredge, too. Right in the hands of James. I would just keep doing it. Yeah. You know, Good news is the clock stopped. Oh, running back now. Oh, got a timeout. Ah, I got the look from the field judge going, hey. So I'm not sure how much time they're going to add on to that clock. <laughs> First and 10 from the 35 yard line. Frontier so far this season has seemed to be very shy in terms of throwing the ball, but yeah, but hey, when you got opportunities there's another like one. that right there, oh, oh. does some good defense Eight there. Now listen, if you're going to run, if you're going to run trips, if you're going to run trips, someone's got to go across the middle. You can't have yeah, all three guys going point. on the same side of the that's field. That's a very like that. good point. That's why you almost throw an interception. Yeah. You know, if you're going to run trips, you've got to have someone go across the field, and nobody went across the field on that play. Yeah, because you just have guys line up on either side of the field, and they just run straight, even like a little hook route. It's like, you know, at the end of the day, it becomes predictable. Well, you know, as you can see, we got trips again, right? Yeah. Someone's got to go across the middle. What do we got? Sideline. Sideline, yep, they uh, gave a warning to the sideline that they need to step back. They were on the field. So here we go. Yeah. All right. Yep. See, oh. two guys in the same area that did not work. Yeah. No. They ran no. the same route, too. Can't do that. Because that was, that was right to James. It went right through his hands. Well, the problem is is that you got two guys, and they're both fighting for the ball, and you exactly. can't do that. If you're going to run trips, you got to have one go across the middle, one go deep, and one go out. Exactly. And with that lineup right there, I'd say you send James across the middle. I mean, with a guy that with his size. You well, know, James can, has been going across through. the middle, yeah. and all of a sudden they went away from him. They, went, they, they literally had two guys literally fighting for the ball on the same team. Third down and 10, 117 left here in the first half. The Hawks. Trying to be able to move the ball into Commerce territory. And another false start. And there's another Boy, penalty. That's too Shooting bad. Shooting him in the foot. Tell you right now, that's too bad because they had a nice momentum going when they were able to get that ball. Oh yeah, they and did. now all of a sudden, sort of breaking down. Yeah, it had an incomplete pass penalty. Tell you right now, though, I'd still try to throw it. Oh yeah, I mean, look at where you are. You're on the third. You're on your own 30-yard line. Yeah, but you know, you've what? got just over a minute. Like you got to make up a lot of yards here. Good snap. Someone's got to go deep. That's a nice pass. That's good defense right there. Number three did a nice job for the high school of commerce great. being able to get in the face of Ian Burt, which I'll tell you right now, if Ian Burt gets that ball, who's going to catch him? 
<laughs> no one. I mean, and the reason for that, I'll tell you right now, he is a track star. Yeah. Like one of the great long jumper, great sprinter. And, you know, he gets the ball. He gets a couple good blocks. He's going all the way. He's taking it to the house. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you right now, what you just did is you just gave the high school of commerce a chance to be able to get the ball back. And Kirkendall is going to punt it. Nice punt. Good that baby's punt nice. All right. Oh, a little slip up. No, he oh, got back up on his feet. There. And he's down. Bird so that'll that bring up a first there. down. And 10 for the High School of Commerce with one minute left here in the first half. It's been a long first half, by the way. Oh, yeah. No, it and, has. Uh, they will have the ball at their own 44-yard line. I think it's taken us a couple minutes to get from 117 to just one minute. Hey, don't be surprised if they don't try to throw the ball. They got a good. They got a guy who has a good arm. Oh, yeah. Johnson could throw the ball. Gonna have to D it up here if you're Frontier. Mm -hmm. Got a guy back. I'll tell you though, those lazy, hey, was that a forward or was that not? Incomplete okay, pass. incomplete pass. Second Just want to make sure right. that was forward, not behind, because if that was behind, that would be a, a live ball. And Frontier was ready for it Second down too. at 10. So 55 seconds left here in the first half. High School of Commerce with a two point lead, 16-14. Here on Senior Night, here at Frontier Regional, second down and 10, Chase Johnson has the ball, and he's hoping to try to find an open receiver. Thing is, is, is they're giving him a lot of time to be able to have players come out of the backfield. That could happen. They could get the ball and then have someone come out of the backfield, get the ball, and try to be able to get it then. But that was, that was a terrible snap. That a, oh and that's God. a broken up play. <laughs> that was not a good snap right there by the Commerce, by the High School of Commerce. And that was able to bring the ball back. John Kirkendall on the stop. God. Boy, I'll tell you right now. 13. Clock's running. If you're dredge, you could call timeout. Get timeouts available here. Yeah. Hey. Stop the clock and still get the ball in their territory. Possibly a block punt. Could be all kinds of opportunities here. Looking for a pass. There you go, it's you got him. Now you gotta call a timeout. There you go, yeah. Now you gotta call a timeout. He's so just gonna let it That's run out. That's a nice job by West. That was huge. Now you're just gonna let it run. They're just gonna let it run. All right. So, looks like we're gonna go into the locker room with a 16-14 Commerce lead. And that's exactly what we will do right here at the end of the first half here at Frontier Regional. When we come back, we're going to run down all of the scoring. We'll also tell you about those seniors that are playing for Frontier here today. And we'll also be able to hear from the pep band here at Frontier Regional. Bobby C. and Mason Smith back here in just a moment here on the FCAT Frontier Community Access Television. And we want to welcome you back here to Frontier Regional High School. It's halftime and it's senior night. Well, let's run down the scoring and how everything sort of worked out here for the scoring opportunities for both teams. Well, in the first quarter, it all got started with 8.09, and that's where Josiah Morales ended up with a 43-yard run to give the High School of Commerce that 8-0 lead. Kind of there, uh, and then it ended up being a two-point conversion by Chase Johnson, the quarterback, and it gave them that big lead that they were looking for to be able to kick off the game. Well, then in the later part of the first quarter, with 2.25 left in the first quarter, Aiden Dredge ended up throwing a nice pass to Ian Burt, which made it Definitely. eight to six. And the two point conversion two point failed, difference. and that's where we stood at the end of one, eight six. In the second quarter, with 9.53 to play in the half, Bray Arsenault had a 17 yard run, and also a two point conversion by Ian Burt, and that made it 14 to eight, Frontier. Well then, Chase Johnson with 2.23, in the half, ended up being able to score a touchdown. 
and that made it 16, that made it 14-14. And then the two-point conversion for Morales was good. And there you have it. 16-14 is our score right here going into the third quarter here at Frontier Regional. Want to remind everybody that today is senior night as well. We want to be able to recognize our seniors. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn things over to our color guy over here, and I'll let him be able to introduce our seniors that are here today. So go ahead, Mason. All right, so we've got a, several seniors here for Frontier. We've got Sean Kirkendall, who is number nine, if you see him out on the field. Ethan Bryant, number 67. Number 27 is India Lewis. Aiden West, number 61. Matt Stiles, number 13. And Jesse Dubriel, number 15. And... So there and you go. Those are our seniors here on Senior Night. We're yeah. looking forward to being able to... being able to hopefully be able to make them happy campers here at the end of the night. Be nice if they could be able to win their game on senior night. Very nice ceremony that we had. We also were able to recognize our seniors from the band that are playing here tonight as well. So we're just about a minute and a half away from kicking off the second half here at Frontier Regional here tonight on senior night. But you know, it is All right, really we're nice. We're just about ready to kick off the second half here at Frontier Regional here tonight on the FCAT. Frontier Community Access Television. Bobby C. and Mason Smith. 55, Tykees Alexander to kick off for Commerce. For Ray Arsenal to Ian Burt back for the Red Hawks. Ian Burt and Braden Arsenal way back for Frontier to receive. This guy can kick. Got a nice nice kick. And here we go. Got a move on the edge. Got a corner. Arsenal's making the moves. Is that big Bray? Nice job by Bray. Good hustle on the other side of the field. Nathaniel Chacon Medina on the stop. Frontier first and ten. That's a good return there by the Braden Arsenal. Thirty-six yard line. That was a very long half, by the way. Yeah, it was. Frontier's going to take advantage of the opportunity to use their speed. Oh, they didn't get the... Nobody came out to get the tee. Just going to throw it off. Yeah. So the last thing you want to do is twist your ankle on one of those bad boys. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. You know, I'm going to tell you what the biggest problem is, is that when they run the double wing, it's fine if you can be able to get openings. The problem is, is they got too many big boys that are on the defensive line here at the High School of Commerce yeah. that is not, it, it's, it's happening so fast. You need your linemen to get time to open up that hole. No, that's very true. You know, and that's why, you know, it was so great to see them finally using Dredge's arm, which they haven't been doing a lot this season. Well, because of the offensive line and how big they are and how big the defensive line is, mm -hmm. Commerce definitely has probably about 50-pound difference on each guy. Yeah, and that makes the running game difficult. It also makes the passing game difficult, of it makes course. makes passing but easier. That's a nice run on the edge. Dredge has got a first down and more. Nice job. That was a beautiful run. They fooled the referees on that play. Excellent job right there. <laughs> Being able to see that open lane. I'll tell you, the problem with Commerce is Commerce can't stop when Frontier has the edge because the speed is killing them for sure. Oh, yeah. So they have the advantage on the speed on the outside. The thing is, you got to get there. And if you can yeah. get there, that's where you can pick up yards like Dredge just did. Yeah, and that's where the passing oh, what are game they, comes what are in. They, what are they calling here? Oh, man. Oh. Yeah, I heard him blow the whistle early. That is, that is terrible. So for our viewers who are viewing our game here, I want to let you know that what happened was is they blew the whistle not knowing 
that the ball was still being carried by the quarterback. And by that whistle being stopped, that stopped them from getting the first down. Wow. So now it was stopped where it's second down and two or three. Was that third down and three? That's third because they already, yep, that is third and three. Boy, that, that really hurt. It's got it saying 33, by the way. <laughs> now you got the four referees out there talking it over, and they're going to probably come over and tell Coach Dredge what happened. Head judge had to be able to let him know. Yeah, I mean, that's an impressive play right there. If you can yeah. fool the referee right on the field. Even fooled the even fooled the, the, the referee on that play. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go on third down. Should have been a first down. Yeah, it should have. I've got Ian Burt on the near side. He's Adams quick. Receiver. Yeah. What do we got? What's going on now? Unbelievable. Timeout called by Commerce. Oh, and then oh, they call a timeout. On. After all that, Jeez. you would have think with all that time that they had, why would you waste the timeout? <laughs> My God. Boy, you're up by two. Yeah, we only you had, had all that time to talk to your half. players, and then you waste the timeout? Boy, that's a crazy, that is a crazy call in my eyes. I just no, it don't understand is. it. I mean, we only had a I don't know. I've, and a I've half. seen more weird stuff in 2022 than I've seen in <laughs> 40 years. So, so there you have it. You had, a, you had a, a call that was called where it shouldn't have been called. Then you had all this time while they were figuring it out, and the coach from the commerce side decides, well, I guess I'll call a timeout now. Yeah, yeah. Just wasted one of his three timeouts here in the second half. We'll see if this affects them. So let's think about this. With 10.56 in the third quarter, commerce called the timeout where they should have never had to do that. See if that... Yeah, one, very well might come back to bite yeah, them. Yeah, let's see if it does. Now Frontier's got James, Caden James out on the far side as a receiver. He's been getting the ball. They waited for the line. That was a good job right there. That's what they did. They waited for the line. You have to let the linemen be able to do their job before you can get in the face of them. And that brought up a first down. It's exactly what they needed to do. That was a great job right there by the Hawks to be able to wait. I'll tell you, the problem with this double wing against a big offensive line is, is that you have to wait. You've got to let your blockers at least open up some kind of a seam. Yeah. Or if you don't open a seam, they're not going to be able to get through, and that's where they're going to end up getting no yards. Exactly. We were talking about how, you know, it's such a quick play formation. We, you know, you can do so many things so fast with it, and now they've got to slow it down because the Commerce just has such a big offensive line. There's a nice run right there by nice Drake. I'll tell you right now, he's doing a nice job hiding that ball. Oh, yeah, he is. Elijah Kelman. Opportunity for a great run. So there you go. Second down and two here for the Hawks. And they are in Commerce territory. And a nice little mist is rolling in over the field. Oh, no, you can definitely see the, the, the haze and the fog. It's, it's, it's because you got that high pressure, low pressure sort of meeting each other here mm -hmm. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Except for my hair still attached. Oh, what oh a play! my goodness! Oh man, the guy from Commerce oh, almost took almost the ball out of his it. hand, and it was recovered by Commerce. Wow, wow, what a play! What a play right there by Commerce, boy. They started reading the fake, is what yeah, happened. But that's that that that's that's a mistake on the Hawks. Yeah, they tried their luck with it too many times. That is a mistake by the Hawks, and that hurt them. Yikes. Well, defense is going to have to step up here. 
Frontier, mm -hmm. they're the ones that had the ball first here in the second half. Now it's Commerce's turn. Already up two. Got an uh, got a movement. It's gonna bring him back another five yards. There's the penalties again. Boy, I'll tell you. again. It seems like every time that Commerce gets the ball, they always have a penalty of five yards or ten, <laughs> whether it's a hold or whether it's just being offside. <coughs> so gonna have to bring it back. Yeah, the two things that are really killing Commerce right now are those penalties and the snaps that are coming out of their center. Their center, they don't, he doesn't snap it with any kind of power. It just sort of fluffs it up there. Or he snaps it like yep. two feet above his head. That's a nice run right there, but a gang tackle by oh, lots wow. of red. Maybe you gain a four or maybe five. They might have got that penalty back, maybe four or five yards back on that play. Yeah. That's a nice job by the Hawks to be able to make that play. Now they got to do it again. tell you right now what they need to watch out for is watch out for the fake and then having the speed of Johnson run it outside because there's only one guy to beat of course yeah. that's Ian Burt but still let's see what happens he there's rolls out he gets oh my he got goodness popped. what a play by James <laughs> Caden wow. James read that play Caden James <laughs> Woo! that was a stick he saw that coming from a mile away ah that was beautiful. Third and 17. Third down, 17 for Commerce. And they're going the wrong way. But we've seen what happened before when they were in the hole this way and they were able to get out of it. Yeah. And they've been t they're taking chances. They haven't, they haven't wanted to punt the ball at all here tonight. Coach Dredge says, get on them, put the pressure. And there's nice an incomplete play. pass. Again by James. James is. I'll tell you right oh now, goodness. he has done an awesome job here tonight. Pass both. I'll tell you right now, Caden James has done a great job on both sides of the ball. Looks like they the might be punting now. Oh, they got to kick it finally? Oh. Wow, look at that. Wow. I always say don't believe it till you see it. <laughs> Don't yeah, I mean, again, it's it. It. the way I'm looking at it, it doesn't seem logical at all to risk like a fake pun here. But yeah, nope, there it they is. They kicked it. Got to let it go. Oh, hit his back. Oh, don't take it. Oh, man. That, that was. literally bounced right off the Red Hawk player, but he was able to get down to get it. Yeah. That was some good that awareness by Dredd. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, the ball came backwards and it hit the player after it went by him. Whew. So the Red Hawks have a chance to be able to get on the board here in the second the half, the take the lead yards. here against the High School of Commerce. We got a 16-14 game on senior night. Haven't gotten a score in you a know, while from I look either at, team. I look at all the great plays that were played here today, and I look at all the ways that they got really, they, they took themselves out of opportunities, and it's about even. Yeah. The good and the bad are about even right now. Yeah, and you know what? That's reflected by the score. Yep. That's nice a nice pass. catch. Oh, oh, my goodness. That's a, some great awareness that was on a the beauty field by right Eddie there. Mitchkowski. That was a great catch. Boy, he went up to get it, too. It was a little behind him, but he just... Wow, that was, that was a great catch by Mitchkowski right there. What a beautiful catch there by Machowski. All right. You got a first down. You keep moving the ball. No, oh, you gotta hold the ball. Strip sack. That was a and great the tackle is there. Running. Bray Arsenal was hoping to get that ball and unfortunately it didn't make it back to him. So they lost a couple be second down in 12 for the Hawks. Like I was saying to you, you know, one play like that, other great catch right there, and then a play like that. You know, it's they seem yeah. to be sort of even each other out here tonight. 
Exactly, and that's the thing. You know, you have a couple good plays like the pass to Mitchkowski. Yeah. You know, and you gain momentum, you gain momentum, and then one play like what just happened now, and it breaks it, and then you just you falter. Yeah, but now it you just put yourself another couple yards in the hole. Now you got to be able to make up those two yards and more here mm -hmm. to be able to get that first down. Yeah, that's the kind of mindset you have to have. And a run up the middle. And they hit the beef. This gets... Whew. Tell you right now. Thrown back. That guy, Bray number 55, Arsenal. he just laid on Bray Arsenal. Boy, uh, had that momentum going. Nice job. Didn't gain much on that one. Maybe a yard and a half of a gain on that play. You got to ask yourself, is this Fort Town territory here for Coach Dredge? Yeah. Depending on what they get here. I think it comes down to what they get here. Yeah, I mean, it's a close game. You're better Pretty off trying even to pin them back up. and try to get better field position for the next possession. Little movement. Fakes a hand hey, off. Oh, down my down goodness. Go, He's still go, going after the stiff go. arm. Dredge yeah. is going down the field. Aiden Dredge with a great run. Oh, right there. my God. That was huge. What a run! Oh my God! Thirty-seven yard run. That is awesome. Thirty-seven yard run right there for Aiden Dredge, and he went right up the middle, and he gave his offensive line a chance to make that hole for him. That was a great fake there. Little movement in the backfield before the snap by Burt. See, that's the kind of offensive line playing we need to see from Frontier. Well, Every now, play if they want to win. Well, right now you got to continue making plays and you got to continue to move the ball forward. Give your offensive line time to be able to make holes. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't give them enough time. No, no they didn't. John Kirkendall on the carry. Nathaniel Chaton Medina on the stop. You know, I'm starting to wonder starting to wonder if uh, they're starting to wear down the beef on the other side there on the defensive line. Yeah. I mean if you if it's easy when they can just stick their mitts out. That's right. Mm hmm Did he get stung on the oh. Yeah, Dredge is on the sideline. Yeah, he is. We've got Caden James, sophomore Caden James as Frontier's quarterback now. Hand off to Burt. See, there, you, you, you got to give him time. You got to yeah. give him time to block. Kirk Early on the stop. It's exactly the same play, run twice, and both times it didn't work out because there wasn't enough time for them to be able to let the offensive 39. line do their blocking. It dredges back in. Go and see what I would have done after that. You know, you got that big run, quarterback sneak. You're doing a lot of stuff in the backfield now. Yeah. You just slow it down a little bit, try and get a. Small pass, you know, run him through the middle, something like that. I'll tell you right now, maybe maybe this could be an opportunity for Dubriel to come in because there's no wind at all tonight. Yeah. Nice, nice play pass. right there to James. He might have got the first He's down. He's fighting He's for going. it. He's fighting. What a fight by James. He is having a game. And his helmet came off too. I'll tell you right now. What a night here tonight for Caden James. James wants this win, folks. He is playing great. That, oh he is playing God. great from the backfield, playing great from what he had to do to go into substitute as a quarterback, what he's done on defense, what he's doing in receiving. Kid's been all over the place tonight. And that brings up a first down and goal for the Hawks. On the five-yard line. Arsenal gets the ball and he's and just he's getting got spinned to go. around. Yeah. And that was a loss on the play. Second down, second and goal. No, and see, that's what I was talking about. You know, you have the, the double wing formation there, and it doesn't, most of the time, you don't have anybody out on the wings, you know, the as biggest, like a receiver the option. Biggest the biggest problem with the double wing is, is that. 
it's hard to do against an offensive I mean a defensive line that has this many big guys. Exactly. Because you yeah. gotta give your you gotta give your offensive lineman a chance to get out there to be able to open a hole. Yeah, you gotta give them a little space, a little bit of time. And you know, you got you also gotta keep the defense guessing because right now in that formation they've got no receivers, yeah. you know? They know that it's gonna be a run play, whether it's like some kind of trickery quarterback goes out to the side or something like that. They know it's gonna be a run. Well, the High School of Commerce has called the timeout. 147 left here in the third quarter. They are hanging on to a two point lead. Frontier's done a nice job being able to move the ball. This could be a big momentum change here. If Frontier can be able to score. Oh yeah. And be able to get that two point conversion. They need them both. Yeah, you know, with Frontier in this field position right now, you have to ask yourself, you know, how long can Commerce hold on to this lead? And the, an the first answer that comes to mind is not very long. The way that Frontier has been playing, just so explosive. You know, they, they have a couple plays that are just like, you know, nothing happens, nothing happens, and then just boom, they shot, they pluck it out of thin air. Oh, we should see what the strategy is here. I mean, I'll tell you right now, a rollout wouldn't be a bad idea either, you know. Yeah, they've that's been able true. To, they've been able to do a nice job being able to get wide open receivers. Maybe a nice rollout. Maybe you could find Ian Burt in the back of the end zone. Here's a yeah, chance right here. You avoid that big that's defensive right. line. Yeah. Because that's see. the thing that's stopping them the most. Let's see what they do on this play. Dred's calling the play here. Second down and goal for the Hawks. And he pulls back. He does look for an opening. To Burt. And it's to Burt. And there you go. Yep. See what I'm saying? Do it again. He didn't get much, but he got a couple yards. And when you're on the five-yard line, that's all you can ask for. Third and goal from the three-yard line. The other thing you can do too is you can always fake the pass and then you can roll out yourself. Yeah. So what Dredd should do is he should roll out as far as he can roll and then if he doesn't have an open receiver, that's when you go and that's where the guy's got to block. Yeah, I don't know if I've actually seen a fake pass. A pass fake from the Hawks and this year. And they're going to run up the middle and I think they got it. That wait a minute, wait a minute. Senior Indio Lewis. No call yet, no call yet. 27. India Lewis, third and hot touchdown. No, no touchdown. No, they didn't. No touchdown. They hand it off to Lewis again. Lewis. There it is. <laughs> There's a touchdown for the senior. That's what we're talking about. Oh, my God. That's the kind of stuff we like to see. No. No signal the first time. But I got to tell you what. I love the enthusiasm of Dave Blanchett, folks. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Really? Yeah, sounds about right to me. Well, that was senior India Lewis for Hopefully Frontier getting the conversion. touchdown. And they haven't been able to get that all night. Nope, nope. So that's gonna put Frontier up 20 to 16, up by four points with 4-11. 4-11. All right, got to write that down. Left in the quarter. So 4-11 here in the third quarter. Frontier with a two-yard run for a score. Jesse Dubril a kick off for the Hawks. Josiah Morales. Dubriel lines up with the rest of the Red Hawks to kick off. Back for the Red Raiders. It's been quite a game here tonight. 2016 oh, yeah. Hawks. They've already doubled their offensive performances for their average for the year, where it was 10 going into tonight. They've already got 20 on the board. And we've Dubriel. still got a whole quarter to go after oh, this third. Oh, that was a nice scoop. And he got, he, oh, and he oh. got, thank God he had a hole. I thought he was going to get through that. Well, Frontier was able to make oh. that stop on special teams. And the High School of Commerce will have the ball first down at 10. And that'll be from their own 
43 yard line. <laughs> a lot of enthusiasm from the crowd here tonight. Love to see that. We got the party crew right in front of us here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wonder if see, they're treating for pizza over at Holiday Pizza at the end of the night. See, it's all the parents and grandparents down there. That's it. Special <laughs> senior night tonight. Big night for the folks here in South Deerfield. Oh yeah. Oh, high another snap. high snap. But Morales gets the outside. And he's still on his feet. Wow, oh he picked God. up about six or Morales seven on that. Carry. Nice job by Morales. You know, this kid's only a freshman. He's only a freshman. He's wow. only a freshman. This kid's My got God. quite quite a little future in the backfield. And his yeah, quarterback looks like it. And his, and his quarterback, Chase Johnson, is only a sophomore. Wow. That is quite remarkable. We're almost out of time here in the third quarter. And trying to find an open look, trying to get his line to be able to move, and he got nothing. Good wow. defense right there by the Hawks. Flag on a play, Katie James on a stop. Uh oh. Got another flag. First one in a while, actually. Well, let's hope it's from the white, not from the red. Yeah. And it's on white, so that's good. And if it's holding, that'll be 10 yards. And I haven't seen a, let's see what he, let's see what the, what the guy with the flag says. He says nothing. Oh, but he's marching foul. it back. Another personal foul against the high school of commerce. Jeez. That is way too many in a night. That is, that is. How many is that now? Have we been keeping track of that? Wow. Boy, that is. They got third down and 20. Well, they might doesn't have to punt the ball back to the Hawks here as they wind down our third quarter. Will they get one more snap in before the end of the quarter? Doesn't look like it. They will not. That's the end of the third quarter here. At the and at the end of three here at Frontier Regional High School on senior night, it's Frontier 20. And the High School of Commerce 16. Bobby C. along with Mason Smith and our crew. As we are here on Senior Night, what a game we have here on Frontier Community Access Television. We're back with fourth quarter action coming up next. All right, we're getting ready here for fourth quarter action as the High School of Commerce is back on the field as far as Frontier as well. And they're sitting at third down and 20. The High School of Commerce. And they're back to throw as Johnson. He throws one deep up in the air. Pop fly of a throw it's right popped there. It's popped and it's intercepted. intercepted by Burt. Ian, Ian Burt has the ball and he goes down, but oh he's got the God. interception. The defense comes up big for the Hawks. That is a big play wow. right there. Nice job right there by Burt to be able to make that interception. Now you gotta be able to use that clock. You're with the four point lead here. You have every opportunity to be able to walk away with a win here on senior night. You gotta protect the ball and you gotta be able to move the ball. The longer you can keep possession, better chance for you to be able to walk away with the big B yeah, exactly. here tonight. There's the double wing again that they love so much. And did they give enough time for the player to be able to move the ball? They did. Yeah, Bray picked up a few on that. Got through a couple of tackles, good five. blocks. Yeah, yeah. Second and five. Nice job right there to be able to give the lineman a chance to be able to move the ball here. Get to be able to move the people out to open up that hole. That's the one thing that's been tough on the old uh, double wing here tonight is that the big linemen that are sitting on the defensive side are making it a little bit harder for some of these guys to find a seam. Yeah. Let's try true. it again. And that's an offside. Yeah, there it is. And that's going to be uh, five yards. That's going to go against the high school of commerce. Yeah. <laughs> again, the 
We've said it so much, but it's so true. The penalties are killing yep. commerce. The question is, is it going to be just shy of just the first down or what? They're giving it to him. First down with that penalty. Wow. That'll bring up a first down at 10. First and 10 for the Red Hawks. That's right. 35-yard line. Um, Got to protect it. Got to protect the ball here. And, you know, you were just talking about, you know, taking time off the clock because you've got this lead and you, you don't have a lot of distance to go, but you want to take as much time off as possible. Absolutely. You know. Oh, look at that. Nice run right up the middle. Nice push there. I'll tell you right now, Frontier's doing forward. a nice job. Now it. No, but what I, what I hope Coach Dredge right is telling That was a big players. run right there. That was good for seven. That's three. second down and three now. What I hope. Nice gain of seven on that play. This is a great run. They just kept pushing that pile forward. And they pull back. Oh, and, and it's a fumble. Oh, no. Hopefully that was recovered by us. It was. Oh, no. And Commerce Seriously? gets the ball. Wow. Oh, they another, just blew that. Another blunder. And I was just about to say that they were doing so such a great job. Sad. They were doing such a great job of, you know, keeping the plays in bounds, taking time off the clock after the tackle had been made. But, geez. Oh, man. That's just a mistake that we got to write down with 10-21 left in the game. We ended up with a fumble. What happened to Frontier's defensive line there? Morales has done a nice job here tonight. I'll tell you, that kid's tough. He, oh, he, yeah. may, he may not look like a very big kid, but I'll tell you, he's got some strong body. He's got a strong leg. He's been able to use his body. He's been able to use his legs. But he's also been able to make sure that his big boys up front are giving him the hold he needs mm -hmm. to get through. you got to use the workhorses. Fakes the Johnson, handoff. He gets tangled oh. up. Nice job right there by the Hawks. Great, great job making that tackle. Good awareness there oh, by the Colin West. West. Nice job by West. That's what you do on senior night. Let's go. Got to step up in big moments. It's a big, big play right here for Frontier. They want to be able to make the stop on third down and two. The band striking up. Fumbles the Got to gotta, gotta get him. And they got him. Fourth down. That'll bring up a fourth down and one. Great stop. Fourth down and one, and you got a quick guy with a big line. This is where, if you're a commerce, you got to use the workhorses up front. Yeah. You got to give him time. He, he always takes it from the shotgun anyway, so that way he has time to be able to see the movement of what's going on on the line. Let's see what he does right here. And that was a high snap. Could that affect them? I That's think they got up. The defense prevails. And the defense prevails, and all of a sudden, the Red Hawk offense is back in business. What a great read by the Red Hawks. Ethan Bryant had a way to make the big play on senior night for Ethan Bryant. Senior made a big play. Tell you right now, Frontier's defense has really held. They've held them in these games throughout the year so far. Oh yeah. And boy, there you have it. With 8:27 the left here in the game, comes up big. I know. Uh, fourth down and one. They stop the high school of commerce. A little pitch Braden there. Arsenal. Keep fighting. Ian, All right. That was Ian. All right. Good job. The, Tell you right now, that was a good job being able to wait for his no, lineman. I think you got to do that one more time. You got to wait. Being a two, second and eight. So one thing I've realized here tonight in this game is, is that when they run the double wing against a big offensive line, if they go too quick and don't wait for the lineman to be able to move, then they get nothing. Yeah, they don't. Happens every time. Yep.
Nice it. run for a first down, and that'll be a big play right there for the Hawks. Nice effort there. And the clock Arsenal moves. And that was Braden Arsenal. Nice job right there by Bray Arsenal. And you see Morales on the other end getting the tackle for Commerce. You know, one of the questions I have, well, here's one of my questions. Let's talk about this for a second. Yeah. Why would you get back up on the line and want to be able to run the play fast when you got a four-point lead and you have the ball and you've been running it? Wouldn't you want the clock to keep running? Yeah, that is a very good question. You know, they, it, it looks like they're playing like a hurry-up offense, like they're behind. There's no need for a hurry-up offense right now. You're, no in, you're in their territory. You, have a, you just got a first down. Yeah. You know why Commerce called the timeout? Because they weren't expecting Frontier to do what they just did. That's a very good point. And I now, mean, Commerce, they only have one timeout left. We talked about that timeout that they took that yeah, they, could they didn't even affect need to. them in a four-point game. They're down to one. I want to welcome you here to Senior Night here at Frontier Regional High School, Bobby C., along with Mason Smith and our crew here tonight. I want to say thank you to Luke and Tyler. Thank you to the Mosh Man as well. The Big Bosch is our... Executive Director here at Frontier Community Access Television. We are missing our buddy, Kevin Murphy, tonight. The Murph Man, we miss you. All right, Frontier back out on offense. Back out with a double wing once again. Oh, oh yeah! Handoff. That's a nice job right there. That's what we like to see. Kirkendall's really starting to wait for that seam, and he's taking it. There you go. He got right behind a lineman and just pushed him forward. Yep. <laughs> now, listen, you got to keep the clock running. Take your time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be taking as much time as you can in the huddle to get up there and make that play. No, and that's probably something that Coach Dredge is thinking about. He doesn't want to do anything out to the wings because then if he does, they are gonna they might get tackled out of bounds. And Just hold stop the, the ball clock. and run it. Hold yeah. the ball and run it. Mm -hmm. See how he's taking his time? Yep. That's right. you got to use that clock. There you go. Smart play. Nice little pitch there to Arsenal. I get the first down. Great Arsenal on the carry. And a gain of just about a yard. All right, now it's getting tricky now. Now it's third, third down. down. Now you're at third down and three. Third down, third and three for the Hawks. Clock still running. We're just about at the six minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Frontier taking their time to be able to utilize this clock with that four point lead. Surprised it wasn't done a little bit earlier in the quarter. No, but you know what Dredge might be thinking right now? He might be thinking, you know, if they can't get the first down here, he'll just send Dubriel out to give them some three points. Well, there's an opportunity to do that, but here's the, this is going to tell on this play what they're going to end up doing. Oh, and he gets through. Uh, did he get that first down? I think he did. He yeah, got right it's through a the red hole. Hot first down. What now they can start run. all over with all fresh downs. That is a huge play. There you go. Huge play by the Hawks. Running that, that clock down. That was senior Sean Kirkendall yeah. on the run. That's right. You got first and goal for the Hawks here with 5.30 left in the game. Taking their time with a fresh set of downs. Taking their time. Coming up to the line. And there's a and nice move. The oh, oh that would and would have been in if that guy didn't make that tackle. That was a great tackle right there. Nice Clock sweep still to runs. the legs. Clock still runs here. Yeah. Josiah Morales on the tackle. 450 left here in the game with a four-point lead for the Hawks. Senior night. Second and goal from the five-yard line. They score here, they're sitting pretty. Mm -hmm. Handoff. It's pushing forward. 
John Kirkendall on the carry. Oh, and he's right down to the one and a half yard line. Oh, maybe the my two. God. Oh, boy. Clock's running. That's Peter it. The clock's your friend. Got to remember now, High School of Commerce only has one timeout left. That's it. You know, that is just about the best thing that could have happened on that play, I think. Here we go. You get, with, you get like two yards. This is four down territory. Line. This is four down territory, oh my Mason. Goodness. Are we in? Do we see a signal? No. We down to the one. Fourth down and one. Look oh out from the one yard God. line. Wow. There. Fourth wow. and goal from the one. Time is still Jeez. at 3.30 left here in the game. It's moving. William Moselle was on the stop. <laughs> the only thing that would be that would that would that would really not be well, but it, there's nothing much you could do about it if they make a great play. Is Commerce would still have to march 99 yards because they yeah. have to be able to score at in least under more than three four. minutes. Right. Get in there, Aiden Dredge. I haven't seen Gets anybody yet. Gets back. He's not in. Wow! They Did stopped them. They stopped them on downs. Oh my goodness. All right, so now they got to go 99 yards, though, and they got to be able to go 99 yards with 252 left and only one timeout. That was some great defense right there from wow. Commerce. Wow, the big guys from Commerce came up big on the defensive <laughs> end. Stopped cold. They should have scored. They really should have scored. They on that really possession. should have. Ah, uh, so frustrating when you work that hard to get all the way down to the one yard line and you can't punch it in. But here's an opportunity for Frontier. They they've got they've got Commerce pinned on the one yard line. Yeah. How about a safety? That'd be nice. Yeah. They've got them. Oh, Wrapped him up pretty that quick. could be close to and a safety. And it's a safety. Yeah! One, two, Woo! right off to get a safety, folks. There you go. There's your 22. And you get the ball back, and they only have one timeout. Boy, that sets up huge right there because now you got your six-point lead. Oh, boy. You're going to get the ball back because they are going to kick it back to you. And they only have one timeout, so if you could be able to run the ball and if you're able to get a first oh, down, boy. game, set, match, Frontier, could be walking away with a victory here on senior night. Wow. Wow, that is unbelievable. What a turn of events there. I'll tell you right now, defense has been huge for Frontier all season long. 55, Alexander to kick off. I couldn't have said it better myself. You know, they made it a rule that uh, in high school, you're able to kick off and use a tee if you want. Normally, oh. when you get a safety, you, yeah, have, it's to, a drop you have to kick, go right? back. And, yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. So they made it so that you can be able to kick off a tee for a safety. And that's that safety that they had back earlier this year here at Frontier against Palmer. Yeah. When they were down against Palmer, and that front that safety ended up giving them the chance to pull off that victory. And here we go. Oh, that was a terrible Loved kick. That was a oh, that great field position right there. Just falls on. Oh, top that could of be it. a personal foul. It is. Yeah. Personal Should foul be. against Commerce. Yeah, guy laid him out. That is another 15 yards for Frontier. Uh, Frontier just gained on that play. <laughs> Boy, it's time to put this one home, though. Like I said, they only have one more timeout. That's it, Commerce. Yeah, they're going 15 yeah. yards. There you go. Again, Frontier with some incredible field yeah, position. Yeah, I, I, saw, I, saw, I saw that shove at the end yeah, of the play. Yeah, that was. Yeah, he like, that was a wicked cheap That shot. was more than obvious. Right in front of the ref, too. So there you go. First down at 10. 
for the Red Hawks, and all you got to do is just run the ball. They're going to use one timeout. That's all they got. You get one first down after that. Game, set, match. Frontier will win this mm -hmm. game. Of course, you got to hold on to the ball, too, though. That's true. You got to hold on to the ball. You don't want to give him a chance. Don't let him poke it out. There's our favorite double wing again. Yeah, just, just run it out. Arsenal's got the corner. All right, that's good, though. That's good. good that's play, perfect. Good play. Now they called their last timeout. They call them the last timeout? No, they haven't called their last timeout yet. No. I don't know what they're waiting for. Got to stop them once no matter what. You got one left in the, in the basket here. You might as well use it. Take your time if you're Frontier. If you're going to give yeah. you that, take your mm -hmm. time. And we're almost at the two-minute mark here at the end of this game. Frontier with the 6-0 lead, 22-16. They get the ball back. Hands off First to First down to do it. And Burt on the carry for the Aaron, All right. Nice run by Burt. And Burt. One more first down is all they need. Getting it and done And they're for getting Frontier. close. Third down, and third down in a yard, maybe a yard and a half. That's it. Frontier's getting closer and closer to putting the well, last nail in this All Frontier needs to do right now is they just need to be able to get the first down and the game is over. Yeah, and the pressure's building because if they, they mess this uh, up, it's... They get a first down, game is over, and the fans are going to go crazy. They Kirk waited for the line, and they got the Kirkendall first down. With the run. And that's your ball game right there, folks. Frontier wins on senior night. They can just kneel it down. With a run by Braden Arsenal. Yeah, they don't. They, they, they can just kneel it down. They don't have anything else to do. They can just kneel it. That's the game, ladies and gentlemen. What a win right here for the Red Hawks on senior night here tonight. They're just gonna kneel it down. You don't want you don't want no fumbles. John Kirkendall on the carry. What are they trying to do here? I don't know what they're trying to do, but i my quarterback would be kneeling right now. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Only, you don't want to lose that ball right now with 40 seconds left in this game. Yeah, only thing that's crossing my mind, they just gave it to Sean Kirkendall. He's a senior. Like you Yeah, know. well, it's about kneeling it now. Yeah, exactly. But we I mean, definitely sure got a final for sure, and congratulations to Frontier on senior yep. night tonight, picking up that 22 with a great to 16 game. win. And there's your Neil, and there that'll it do is. it, folks. Frontier. That's our final, 22 to 16. Frontier Redhawks with the win, with a four and two record now. And they're going to celebrate right. in midfield. Well, there you have it. They're back on the road for the next two. They'll be over in Belchertown next week, and then they have their final game of the regular season, and that game will be played against East Hampton High School in two weeks. So hopefully they can be able to win the next couple of games and be able to put themselves in a great position because right now they sit at 4-2 and two on the year. Thank you very much for joining us here tonight on Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Bobby C. along with... My broadcast partner, Mason Smith, want to say thank you to our crew here as well. Thank you very much to Luke, Tyler, and also to our executive director, the Bosch Man. Thank you all for tuning in here on Frontier Community Access Television. Have yourself a wonderful night, and congratulations to the Frontier Red Hawks as they pull out the win. <laughs>